Oh, yeah, exactly. Speaking of manly men, this is a nice segue. Speaking of manly men, you know, uh, your boy Joe Rogan. Uh, oh, yes. He tested positive for COVID. Uh, he had a, he's a little under the weather for a few days. And, you know, he's got no, he's on the men now. I think he's feeling a lot better. He's officially negative. I think he's probably going to do a yeah. podcast as of the Sunday. So he was probably sick for about a week. Took a nice uh, cocktail of supplements, we'll say. Um, Aaron, anything you want to touch on that? I'll touch on that with Joe Rogan. I'm glad he's okay yeah. at the end of the day. No, no, hundred percent. Like you never want somebody to get sick, and obviously with COVID, and obviously good. And again, Joe's been on. He's been talking about it. He's been obviously he's supplementing himself properly. He's getting certain things done. Um, I think the one thing I always look at is like he's kind of contradicted himself, right? Because. He's obviously an advocate for saying if you if you need to get the vaccine, get the vaccine. But he's never been a proactive individual saying hey, people should get the vaccine. And nor he should be like hey, whatever his choice is his choice. He wants to make sure he 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 tie, he toes both lines, right? And that's totally fair. And obviously, he's had so many different podcasts with different individuals on different treatments and all that kind of jazz, right? And so, but again, he's been caught saying he's like, listen, if you if you're a young guy and you get it, you know, just stand out in the sun, get your vitamin D, drink a lot of water, work out, we'll be okay, right? Okay, not the greatest medical advice, but people will listen somebody, to that. He was clearly right? not a doctor. Right, people will listen to that though, right? So the only thing is, is that, so he got sick, he got a bad fever, had bad chills, and then he's like, okay, and we threw the kitchen sink at it. And we threw, you know, ivermectin, all the other drugs that he listed. I'm not even going to go through it, but it, like basically, I was listening to another podcast, and they I'll kind of listed off every list some of them. <laughs> yeah, sure, list it off. Go. Monoclonal antibodies, ivermectin, there you go. Uh, Z-Pak, D3, zinc, um, or something that starts with a C. That's uh, basically he he threw a whole bunch of shit at it. Yeah, so he threw everything uh, at, at it. At the end of the day, you don't even know what the hell worked and what didn't. <laughs> exactly, sure. right? So he had this huge cocktail. And then somebody was saying, it's like, that cocktail alone, like, if you don't have insurance, it's going to cost you $30,000, right? So, so what you're saying Joe, is, hold on. Joe Rogan's got the money. Joe Rogan's what got the money. What you're saying is the cure to COVID is money. That's what you're saying. If you, But again, I think that's the, the question, right? Is it? Is it cheap medical products or is it all this big cocktails, right? And like that, he's got, he's able to test himself all the time, right? He's able to, you know, take off work. He's able to do all these certain things, right? So you have to put it in the perspective of the average worker. Your net worth is $250 million. <laughs> you right. can afford whatever treatment that your heart desires. So for example, so uh, monoclonal antibodies, do you know what those go for? I have no idea. So, so it is actually like a very legitimate treatment. It has been promoted in the U.S. by a company named Regeneron. I'm not promoting anything, but like these are, I think this is one of the ones that was actually like, hey, this is looks like there's because basically it's just pumping your body full of antibodies okay. before your body. Uh, it's supposed to be like in the early stages of like when you get sick, you're basically just okay. Pumping your body full of antibodies. So just pumping quick, that antibody quick as possible, but system. but each gotcha. treatment's about like five thousand US. <laughs> See, right? So who uh, like your typical warehouse worker, right? Who you know clearly the single, the, 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 the single income of the household, right? Is he going to be able to afford that? No, right? Maybe he can. I don't know. Maybe he's a, maybe he's a really good saver, right? But is there a probably really good saver working at Amazon? Like <laughs> seven like, bucks an hour. <laughs> and again, like that individual who can't take that risk, maybe the vaccine is the best option for them, right? Even if they are on the fence. Because again, is it better to get sick with COVID and then end up in the hospital and take the chances? Or is it better to get sick with COVID and have the vaccine and you don't end up in a hospital, right? I'm not a scientist. I don't know. I just look at the numbers. Right, we're, we're we're just playing one on TV right now. I don't know. I think the only issue I had with Joe Rogan is so he's like, okay, I'm doing yoga, I'm doing all this stuff, I'm keeping my immune system strong, which are all valid things. And, like, and he oh, still got sick. He you still got sick. That's not gonna stop. A, that's not gonna stop you from getting sick. First of all, I think we've but, covered that. But, and 
But with that said, like the first thing that happens when he gets sick, it's like, he's not doing yoga. He's going to the medicine cabinet and thanking medical science for fucking <laughs> curing him so quickly where it's like, well, well <laughs> and, and like, this is the, this is one of the reasons why I have like, some of the guys in our profession and ladies that, and again, you guys can have your opinions and you can keep their bodies as healthy as you want. I get it. That's fine. But I agree. And you say, should for to, other, for other and reasons. You should, and you me. should, but to blatantly say that you're not going to contract it because you have a healthy immune system. Is or, you ben, or, you ben, or you bench 315. And, and if you, like if you publish that on your own social channel and say, I'm not going to get it because I have a healthy immune system. You're lying to yourself and you're lying to your friends. And that's fine. Do what you want. Take that risk. I don't give a shit. Right. I mean, you, you do you. Hey, are you talking to some former uh, colleagues? No, of yours I'm there? not talking to anybody. I'm just talking to people. I'm oh, talking talk to you. I'm talking to you, Mike. You're talking, talking to me. To you. Talking to me. I bet you. I bet 315. COVID don't want this. COVID don't want this. COVID. Two, two twenty-five, twisted steel, and sex appeal. <laughs> <laughs>